Hi guys, Ian Johnson from DriveSuccess.com. Today we're going to talk about a critical tool to defining the opportunities within a given customer account, within a larger territory, and within your entire market. We're talking about performing a business-to-business -business sales gap analysis. Now, a gap analysis is a very simple tool. A gap analysis defines the business you have now versus what remains to be pursued. The business that you have now and must keep in order to defend your market share and the business you want to close on in order to increase sales and increase your market share. The gap analysis is the building block to defining opportunities at a customer within a larger territory and within your entire market. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? Um, in this example, we're going to talk about a company selling a widget to an original equipment manufacturer. And they know that for every single line the original equipment manufacturer sells, they, the company can sell them one widget, okay? So in order to know what the potential for sales are at this OEM customer, I need to know how many lines in terms of models they have, and I need to know the volumes for each. And this is what I've done, okay? Line one, two, three, four, and these are the OEM's volumes in terms of their sales for each model type. 100, 150, 75, and 50. Here are my sales. For model number one, I am selling them 50 widgets. I'm doing this by gross profit. Okay? You can do this by units sold, you can do it by sales. I do it by gross profit because gross profit is the ultimate indicator of the value of sales. Because if you don't have gross profit, there's no value to the sale itself. Okay? So I'm doing it by gross profit. I'm currently selling 50 widgets for model number one, and my gross profit is 50 times $2.50, which is $125. The gap analysis is very simple. There's a potential for 100. I'm only selling 50. My gap is 50. I'm going to do it for the next one. This, this OEM sells 150 machines for model number two. I'm only selling them 10. 150 minus 10 is 140. 75 minus 0, I'm not selling anything for that one, is 75. 50 minus 5 is 45. Now, this is what I've done. I've defined the business that I have now. I've defined it by gross profit. I've totaled it up. It's 162.50. This is what remains to be pursued. This is my gap. 100 minus 50, 50, and I've done it for every, every single model that the OEM makes and sells. And these, this is what's left for me to pursue with this customer. Okay. Now, if I wanted to understand how much business I have at this customer's account, I would take 162.50 plus 774, which is $937, and I would take my current sales of 162.50 divided by 937 is 17%. Okay, so I have now done a gap analysis for this customer, and I've got a lot of potential for additional sales, and this is what I have to focus on. Okay, now I want to do multiple customers in order to define the gap within the territory. Okay? So right away I'm going to slot 162 down here and 774. Now I'm just summarizing. I've only got three customers and I'm sure your territory is a lot bigger than just three customers. But I just want to simplify it. Okay? So I do customer 1, 2, 3. I perform the same analysis. I'm selling five. My current sales are $500. My gap with customer number 2 is 400 My current sales with customer number 3 is 800 My gap is 200 Now I define the sales that I have now within the entire territory, which is $1,462.50, and my gap that remains to be sued, which is one which, which remains to be pursued, is $1,374.50. If I wanted to define the amount of business that I have within the territory, I'm going to add this plus this, which gives me $2,837, and I'm going to take my current sales of $1,462.50 divided by 2,837, and I get 52%, okay? So I currently have 52% 50 share of this territory, okay? Now I'm going to take multiple territories in order to define the gap within the market. And when I add up all of the sales across multiple territories managed by multiple salespeople, I come up with $50,000. And when I, when I do that analysis on multiple territories, I also determine that my gap within the market 
is $150,000. So if I want to do the analysis again in terms of defining my market share, I take 50 plus 150, which is 200. That's the potential in the market. I take my sales at 50,000, divided by 200K is 25%. This is my market share. Now, granted, I've simplified this. I've made it very simple. But this is how you use a gap analysis. You define the opportunities within an individual customer. You use multiple customers to define the opportunities that remain within a larger territory. You use multiple territories to define the opportunities that remain within the market. Define your gap by customer. Define your gap by territory, use multiple territories to define your gap within the market, and use it to define your market share. Again, you, can guide, you guys can use units sold, you can use sales, you can use whatever you want, units sold, sales, or gross profit. I've decided to use gross profit. But this is the building block to identifying the opportunities at customers within an entire territory and what your market share is as a company. And it really is that simple. Now, this doesn't happen overnight. It takes a long time to get this information. But this is how you define opportunities. From this information, you can define your sales budgets. You can define your marketing budgets. You can define uh, how you put together and analyze results of a given marketing campaign. I recently did a video about marketing budgets. Uh, a link has probably popped up above my head. Uh, this link will show you exactly how to break down a marketing budget. It's an Excel spreadsheet and allows you to understand exactly how to measure the, the performance of marketing budgets by determining the cost of qualified leads. So listen, a gap analysis is a very simple tool. You know, consultants love to take standard practices that have been around for decades and they like to make them sound more complicated than they need to be so that they can make it look like they're adding value. But this is a simple tool. This is how you define opportunities at customers within your entire territory and within your entire market. It's how you determine market share. So that's it, business to business sales gap analysis by customer, territory, and market. Take care, Ian Johnson, DriveSuccess.com. Bye-bye.